channel. So today is actually World Turtle Day. If you haven't noticed, turtles are actually my favorite animal and unfortunately I don't have one as a pet. So in honor of World Turtle Day, since I don't have one to show you guys, I thought that I would show you guys what pets that I do have. I currently have four cats, two dogs, and three hermit crabs, and I thought it would be fun to introduce you guys to them, so I'm gonna go get them and I'll be right back. Okay, so the first one I'm gonna show you is my oldest cat. She's about 10 or 11 years old, and her name is just Big Kitty because she's so fat. I don't know if you guys can see. She's really big and really heavy, and she has a very strong personality. She's really kind of my way or the highway. As she's getting older, that's getting more and more prominent, but she was my mom's cat originally. She got her when I was in high school, or almost high school, and she had her declawed and then kind of put her outside, and she really wasn't doing too well outside, so I decided to give her an indoor home, and she loves me, and she's not mean or anything, but if, none of my cats are mean, but if I had a mean cat, it would be her, but she's not. She's just old and cantankerous. So that is Big Kitty. So this is the second cat that I have, the second oldest. She's about two and a half years old, and her name is Mama Kitty. Um, she was actually being kept in a chicken coop to guard chickens as a baby um, by a girl who I am friends with. And whenever I went over to her house and saw her for the first time, she was so sick. Her eyes were swollen shut. She couldn't see. She was very young. She was only about six months old at the time. And being as she was in a chicken coop with hay and the chicken dander, she was really, really allergic to it. And it actually caused her eyes to swell shut and she couldn't see and she was really coughy, sneezy, sick from it. So I convinced the girl to let me have her and I somewhat rescued her from that situation. She's actually partially blind now in her right eye because of it. She's the sweetest cat that I have and we absolutely love her. And when I took her to get her fixed, a few days after I got her, I actually found out that she was pregnant. She ended up having two kittens and I decided to keep them because I knew I could give them a really good home and they were the most beautiful kittens I've ever seen. So I'm gonna go get them now. So this is the first baby that she had. I call her Icy, but her name is Isis, named after the Greek goddess. She is huge. She's almost the size of Big Kitty, the first cat that I showed you. She's about a year and a half now, as is her sister who I'll also show you. They are half Persian, half Maine Coon, as you saw, and she is gorgeous. She's all white and gray. As you can see, she's really big and she wants down, but she is absolutely beautiful and I couldn't help but keep her. So this is the last kitty. So that was Pumpkin. She doesn't really like to be held much and she is the smallest of all four of the cats, but she is very sweet once she gets used to you. She just usually keeps to herself in the back room and she's really quiet. Like she doesn't really meow a lot, so I'm just used to her not really like to being held or anything, but yes, that was Pumpkin and she was the second baby that I have. Okay, so now that you've seen all four of my cats, now I'm going to show you guys my two dogs. They're currently outside playing, so I'm going to take my camera out there and show them to you now. show you guys my hermit crabs. Now they stress really easily so I'm not going to get them out of the tank to show you but I will show you the big aquarium that I keep them in and hopefully you'll get a glimpse of them. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed making it for you. That was all of my pets. Happy World Turtle Day, and I will see you guys in my next video. Be kind. Bye. Take 100. Okay. <laughs>